Today we're taking a look at the brand new Saga 420 from Bear Archery. Welcome back to Mike's Archery's YouTube and today we are taking a look at the Saga 420 from Bear Archery. Now this is a new introduction of a bow off the same platform of the Saga platform that they've had the last few years. It's new for 2021, it's a little upgraded version from what they've had in the past. As the name states, it is a 420 foot per second bow for this year. Now that is a little faster speed than the Saga 405 posted last year and that was the spec speed for the older model that they've had the last couple years. How they got that was increasing the draw weight a little bit up to a 210 pound front end on this. So the limbs are going to be packing a little more of a punch to get that higher speed rating. The advertised weight on this bow is at seven and a half pounds. Now we did throw it on the scale because that is a stripped down bow and we built this up with the quiver and the arrows and the, the scope mounted onto it. A real world weight of you walking into the woods is going to be closer to 10 pounds. We got it on the scale at 9.6 and just depending on what else you throw on there uh, with the sling and maybe some other accessories, you're going to see that right at 10 pounds. Now the width on this bow is still a nice slim design. The uncocked width from axle to axle is 18 inches and then when you cock this bow it brings it to a really compact 14 inches axle to axle. So you're going to be able to swing in a tree stand without any trouble, get into some tight blind situations and not have any issues of hitting those limbs on any of the things that are around you. From there they've got several other options built into this bow that were similar from the past. It still kept the adjustable stock on the back, it's got three positions there in that stock, allowing you to fit from a, a woman to a younger child all the way up to a, a full grown man. And it does come with the adjustable cheek piece on there, which is a nice addition, allowing you to get that eye relief right where you want to be at uh, for whoever is shooting this bow. It does have an ambidextrous safety, so whether you're right handed or left handed, you're going to be able to operate this bow. And it does have the Picatinny style scope mount and foregrip. So you're going to be able to mount some things up here on the front of this bow if necessary. If you want to mount uh, whatever accessories you might come up with, it's got Picatinny style rail up front so that you can mount those items as well as up here on the scope being able to add a light or something if you're doing some hog hunting after dark or whatever. The package also includes a camo front end with a tactical black looking stock. They did use that God's Country camo that they've had the last couple of years on the front end of this bow. Uh, keeping with the same look as it's had. It does have the ball bearing retainer system, so you don't have to worry about brushes or springs breaking there on your air retainer system. And they've got that rubberized sound dampener on there as well, taking out some of the vibration when you shoot. You don't get that twanging noise like you do with a lot of the older style crossbows. From there you have a dual string suppressors up front, also taking some more of the shock and noise out of this bow. Um, we will be looking at that here in just a little bit as to what the sound rating on this bow is but they do add some of those sound dampening items to try to keep the noise level down as much as they can. The bow does have an anti-dry fire built into it uh, with the finger guard up front as well. You've got some safety items there that will keep you from making too many mistakes in the woods and causing yourself harm. Now the overall length on this bow is 37 inches and that's from the front of the stirrup to the back of the stock at its shortest position. Now it will expand from there if you need to make it a little longer uh, to fit you. But that's a nice little compact um, crossbow that's going to allow you to get into those blind situations and not have any issues moving around with this bow in the woods. Now, Some of the accessories that come on this bow, it does include in the package an illuminated scope and it is an upgrade for this year. It's not just a standard 4x32 scope. It's a 1.5x5x32. So you're going to have that variable speed scope on there with the illuminated reticles so as it gets dusky uh, or even on bright days, you're going to be able to, to light those reticles in red or green and be able to see very well to know that you're on target. It does also have flip-up caps on that scope, making it a nice feature. You're not worried about those falling off with the bungee cord style, and you're always looking for them in your pocket. It's got just a nice, quick and easy flip-up scope cap on there. Also included in the package is a four-arrow quiver with three of the True X bolts from Bear. It does come with a standard cocking rope a sling, as well as your rail lube and wax. One of the other add-on accessories that Bear came with for this year is the new DTAC cocking device. Now in the past, they've never had a cocking device that would work on any of their crossbows, but for 2021, they have added a universal cocking device that can be put on 
older model crossbows of theirs for the last several years, whether you've got one of the old Intense or Constrictors or one of the old Sagas, but also all the new models as well. So it's a nice add-on feature that is going to be able to be used if you're in that situation where you need the extra ability to be able to cock this bow without doing it with a rope cocker. Now price point on this bow is coming in at $399 retail. So it is a nice introductory level crossbow. It doesn't have that high end price point, but still packs a lot of great features that you see in some of the higher end bows. And it's gonna be a great value for the money. From here, we're gonna step over to the range and take a few shots out of this bow, test the noise level and the speed, and just kind of tell you what we find on this bow that we like and don't like. So we've stepped over here to the lane and we're gonna take a, a few shots out of this crossbow, kind of give you an idea of where the speed rating is on this bow, uh, as well as a noise level rating for the saga so let's take a shot through the chrono here and see what we get all right so we got uh 410 feet a second and the several shots we've taken we've been right there 410 411 you know and with this bow being rated at 420 that's not too bad i'm sure if uh, you get a lighter bolt you know we were shooting this with like a 370 grain bolt i believe and uh, so if you drop down to a 350 grain bolt which not necessarily what we would recommend, but I'm sure you'll see those advertised speeds that they're calling for. From there, we got a, a noise rating on this bow, uh, right under 107 decibels, 106.8. So about what we expect out of a crossbow, you know, as, as crossbows go, none of them are really quiet. I'm sure you could put a few things on this to maybe take a, a little bit of the noise out of it, but it's not gonna make a lot of effect. But overall, just a solid platform from Bear. If you're looking for an entry-level crossbow, then the Saga 420 is right there with tons of performance and uh, just a great little package for right around 400 bucks. So if you're looking for one of these bows, give us a call here at Mike's Archery and we will get you set up.